Okay, day six for the vision. Yay! We're gonna do, uh, I think, twenty questions. Year three, you're gonna do questions one to five. Year four, questions one to ten. Year five, questions six to fifteen. And year six, questions eleven to twenty. Please make sure that you have pencil and paper, pencil and a book. You, there is no point in you not going through the questions with us. You can literally uh, write the working out as I write it. That's absolutely fine. Or you could pause before and actually do the working out. But then please remember that it's not just going to help you just to go through the answers and find the answers. Have a look at how I've done each question, especially the ones that you've got wrong. So let's get started. <clears throat> question one. 460 plus what equals 467? 460... If you're looking at the answer, there's something that's missing from 460 to get to 467. If you're using a number line, you're going 460 to get to what equals 467. In 467, there's a 400. In 460, there's a 400. 60, there's a 60. And 60, there's a 60. So the unit value, the one value is a zero, and the one value is a seven. So it's just seven missing out over there. Okay. So there's just a seven. So 460 plus seven, we don't need to work that out. You could say 467 minus 460 because it's the inverse calculation. 287 plus 342, you can write 287 uh, plus 342. And you got 7 plus 2 is 9, 8 plus 4 is 12, the 1 comes to the next place value, 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6, and you got 629. Question 3, you got 532 minus 418. 532 minus 418. This is simply put, really easy to do in the column method. 2 minus 8. If you have two sweets, can you take away eight sweets? No, you can't. So you need to borrow from the tenth column. That becomes now 20. It is 2, but it becomes 20, because that's in the tenth column over there. So you've got now 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. <clears throat> 2 minus 1 is 1. And 5 minus 4 is 1. 114. Next question. 12 times 3. You could do this either in your 12 times table or your 3 times table. If you're in year 3, I'm going to assume that you're probably going to go in your 3 times table. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. So the answer is going to be 36. And 15 divided by 3, it's the opposite way. So we're going to say how many 3s do we get until we get to 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So that's going to be 5. This one over here, what plus 60 plus 5 equals 265? So as you can see, we've got 5 units there, 5 ones. We've got six tens there. So what are we missing? We're just missing the hundreds column over here. So we're just missing 200. The sum of 834 and 1,239. I'm going to write the bigger number on top. 1,239. 834. And we're going to add them. The sum means what are the two combined. So what is the sum of these two parts? What is, the, what is two? So what are they, they added together? 9 plus 4 is 13. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 8 equals 10. So it's not 0. I need to make an extra place value on there. Uh, extra number on the next place value. 1 plus 1 is 2. And you get 2, 0, 7, 3. And number 8, 2, 3, 5, 6. Reduced, which means the number is getting smaller. Sometimes they say in the shop, this has been reduced, which means that the price of the items become less. So what we're going to do is going to take this, let's say you've bought something for 2356, for 2356, and the price or oh, it's reduced by a lot. People are not buying this, whatever this scooter is, or something that's going to be 2,000 pounds, 356. So we're going to find the difference between this amount and this amount over here. So 6 minus 6 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, 3 minus 1 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So the answer is going to be 200. Ah, you could have done that without the column method, actually. Why is that? Because 6 units, 6 units is the same. So 6 minus 6 is going to be 0. 5 units, five, sorry, 5 tens, 5 tens are the same. So that's going to be 0. And then you just have to, and the 2000s and the 2000s are going to be the same. So it's just this column over here that is going to be different to this column over here. The next one is 483 times 3. So that's multiplication. 4, 8, 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. The 20 goes into the next column. The 2 goes into the next column, which is 20. 8 times 3, 8, 6, and 24. 24 plus 2 is 26. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. 1, 4, 6, 1. 
And then we've got number 10, which is share 180 between six people. Now, I refuse to do these questions using the bus stop method. The reason why is you can take 180 and you can split the 180 into 18 times 10. Because that zero is just a multiple of a number. So that eight, that 80 is just eight times 10. And that zero is just showing that it's 80. So 18 times 10. So 18 times 10 divided by six. 18 divided by six. We can do 18 divided by six so easily. Six, 12, 18, it's three. All we need to do then is multiply by 10, which is literally adding, well, it's adding a zero because the number three is increasing by a place value, it's becoming 30. So 180 divided by six is uh, 30. Number 11, five plus what equals 5.7? So I'm really, I think we're getting into here, five territory here. So we've got a decimal, po decimal point question here. This doesn't need to be worked out. This can be done through mental methods here because we have, the, the answer is 5.7. The question is five plus what? So we have five already. So what is the missing amount? It's just literally 0 0.7. 2.99 plus 6.99. There's two ways you can do this. You can either do it in the column method, which is absolutely fine. But if you're clever, what you could do is you could add one P to this side over here. I'm, I'm thinking it's money. And uh, one hundredth this side over here. And you're going to get three plus seven, which is 10. Now, how many have I added? I've added one hundredth to each one. So therefore, it's going to be 10 minus whatever those two hundredths are. So it's going to be 9.9, .9, and then it's going to be whatever is minus 2 hundredths here. So it'll be 10, 9, 8. So it'll be 9.98. The other way you can do it, now it's really good to understand this part. If you don't understand this part, it's not, not to stress it for now, but it's good to have that mental understanding of questions. 6.99, I always put the large number on top, plus 2.99. 9 plus 9 is 18. 9 plus 9 is 18, which is 9. Uh, and then you've got 6 plus 2 plus 1 is 9. See, the exact answer is the exact same. Remember to put your decimal point. Those are the, you know, decimal point is always something that children will end up missing out. Number 12, uh, number 13, sorry. Less than. So it's going to be a subtraction question. You can't put the 1,058 on top. You have to put 3, 7, 2, 5 on top. And you've got to go subtract uh, 1, 0, 5, 8. And there you go. You're going to find out how much less than is that much less than that. Uh, you borrow from that over there because five. you get five sweets, you take away eight sweets. You can't do that. You can't have five sweets and then give someone else eight sweets. It's just not possible. So you need to get 15 sweets so you can give someone eight sweets. So I'm going to borrow from this 10 over here, this 10's column over here, so I can give to this unit's column over here. 15 minus eight is seven. Now one minus five. Again, I can't give someone five things when I only have one. So I need to get borrow from this side over here. And I've got 11. 11 minus 5 is 6. And then 6 minus 0 is 6. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2,667. Let me quickly just check that is right. It is right. There you go. Um, okay. 3419 3, times 5. Nice and straightforward. 3419 times 5. Excuse my handwriting. I'm trying to write on this this pad thing, which I need to get used to again. Nine times five is 45. Four times five times one is five, plus four, because it's just four extra, is nine. Five times four is 20. Five times, th so the two goes over there, the 20 goes into the next place value. Five times three is 15, plus two is 17. So three, uh, four, one, nine times five is 17095. Quickly check, yep, we're fine. I'm starting to check more often to see if I'm right. Otherwise, it would be a disaster if someone comes to me and says, oh, you got question 75 wrong. Um, we're going to divide by five. This one, you need to use the bus stop method. There's no mental methods for me that we could use here. So that's absolutely fine. Bus stop method is pretty straightforward to use. The only difference is that we're going to go from the largest place. We're going to go from the largest place value in um, adding, subtracting, and multiplication you always calculate from the from the smallest place value when you're doing a written method but for this one we go from the from the tallest place from the highest place value five can can't go into three we're not i know this is three thousand but we call it three five can't go into three so what do we do it becomes a leftover amount for this over here and these now become 34 five goes into 34 six times five times uh five times six is 30 
So there's four left over. So we're gonna put four into the next place value over here. And this becomes 48, okay? That becomes 48. Five goes into 48 nine times, and there's three left over, because five times nine is 45. Five goes into 35 seven times, because five times seven is 35. No leftovers, no remainder. Oh, that's nice. So six, nine, seven. Again, I'm just gonna quickly check. Always good to check. Always good to check. I, even I'm checking. Okay, and also it's not it's not the best just to kind of try and find the answers from me. It's it's good to listen exactly how I do it and understand the process. If you've been in my sets, you know that I like you to do that. Uh, we are now on number sixteen, I think, well into year six territory now. And again, we've got a decimal point over here. We've got zero point seven, zero point zero eight. Um, so the eight, the hundredth column, you've got eight hundredths. The tenth column, you've got tenths. So we've got tenths, we've got hundreds. So we can literally get rid of that seven, eight. So all we need then for 16 is six units. That's what's missing, six plus six, 0 0.7 plus 0 0.08. If you combine these two amounts here, oh, that's very sim That's very similar to what we spoke about earlier with these 6.99. So here we've got 0 0.99. If I add one hundredth over here, if I add one hundredth to 0 0.99, what's gonna happen? Let's look at it as, let's actually do the calculation. <laughs> I wouldn't usually do a calculation. I wouldn't expect year six to do a calculation over here, but I'm gonna show you what happens. So nine plus one is 10, right? Nine plus one is 10. So there's zero amounts in that one over there. The 10 goes into the next place value. So that now becomes nine plus one plus zero. So that's 10 as well again. And then the place value moves up yet again. There's one plus zero plus zero becomes a one. That being said, you should be identifying very easily that 99 plus one is going to move it up the next place value. Not just, not just this place value over here, but actually to the next place value over here. It's like saying I have 99p. This is, this is exactly what it's asking. If I have 99p and I, and I add one p to that question or pence to that question, uh, one pence to that amount, okay? You, you're buying a you're buying an ice cream for one pound. You've got 99 pence. What do you need? Oh yeah, I need just need one pence, and that will make up the pound. So that I've gone way too long on that question. Um, so we're combining that. We've done that. Two take away 0 0.54. So today's like decimal day. Um, two. If you're going to do this using uh, the column method, it, that's absolutely absolutely fine. I think using this in the mental method, like thinking of actually, there's two ways. There's three ways you can do. It. You can just mentally just subtract it yourself and think of the two as 200. Or you can use a number line and go backwards. So you can start at two and you can go back. I don't like the color of that, sorry, it's two. So you can u get use two, go backwards to uh, zero point, uh, take away 0 0.54. So if I take away 50, I get to uh, one pound 50. How many do I still need to take away? Another four pence. And then I've got 1.46. Uh, which is fine, which is the answer. The other way you can do it, I, I love using number lines, but I don't really like, write, not, like writing number lines using this pad thing. We gotta go two, take away 0 0.45. The thing I find all the time is something happening whereby these are not lined up correctly. Zero is the, is the, the one, the unit measurement of 0 0.45. So it needs to be in line with two. Just because there's nothing here doesn't mean we can't put what we call placeholders. Placeholders, are numbers in which we can add to a certain number that wouldn't change any value. So if I put a zero there, is that going to change the value of two? No, it's not, and neither is that. All it does is it helps us to calculate now, because I can say zero minus four, and I say, well, I have zero sweets. I can't, t I can't take zero sweets, four sweets away from zero. So I then do my borrowing as usual. That becomes ten. Then that becomes nine. That becomes ten. Ten minus four equals six. Nine minus five equals four. I had a bit of a that was a, <laughs> took too long to get that one. And one minus zero is one, okay? Just gonna quickly talk through the mental method. Um, you've got 0 0.54 and you've got two. So make the two into 200, okay? Think of it as pence, actually zero, 54 pence, 0 0.54 is 54 pence, two pounds is 200 pence. So you've got 200 minus 54. 200 minus 50 is 100, uh, 150, then take away another four is 146. But remember, you got 146 pence, so you need to change it back to pounds, so it'll be 1.46 pounds. Okay, nearly done. Three, five, six, seven, eight times six. Well, this is quite a long one. I like, it's good to, to have uh, questions like this because actually they're very simple, even though they've got the extra digit or two. Even your year three or year four could, could do this if you're, if you're comfortable with multiplication. 
8 times 6 is 48. 7 times 6 is 42. 42 plus 4 is 46. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 4 is 40. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 4 is 34. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. Um, put, a, put a comma in here just to see your place value. Units, tens, hundreds, comma. Thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So you've got 214,068. I just need to check if that's right. Yes, it is. Woohoo. Okay. And then finally, divide 1 by 8. Okay, divide 1 by 8. Now, if you, this is a difficult one because I don't want us to, to go into doing a column method for this. What's the answer to this? 0 0.125. I don't want us to do the column method for this because this, it's just not going to work, and it's going to. Well, it can work, but oh, it can, I suppose it can. It it can work. We'll do one, we'll do the we'll do the column method. However, instead of going the eight on the outside, the large number on the outside, actually, it's dividing one by eight. So we're going to put the one on the outside. Sorry. No, that's right. Sorry, the bigger number. Instead of putting the one on the outside, we're going to put the eight on the outside. So we're going to put eight, and then we're going to go into one. Now this must look absolutely bizarre because. <laughs> You've got 8 into 1 and you've got nothing. So, however, if we're going to find a decimal answer, because we're not going to find a remainder answer here, it's not going to, it's going to be a waste of time. This number, if you're dividing a number by a larger number, a smaller number, you're not going to have a whole number as an answer anyway. So a question like this would definitely want to have a decimal as an answer. How would you do this? Go back to my place value um, uh, statement earlier. If you're struggling with something, you just put an extra place value in. So I'm going to add 2 here just in case. I hope this works. So 8 goes into 1, it doesn't go into 1. So that 1 becomes a 10 in the next one, in the next place value. 8 goes into 10 once, and there's 2 left over. 8 goes into 20, 8, 16. It goes twice, 8, 16. 16 to 20 is 4, so there's going to be 4 left over. I'm not done. <laughs> I need to do this until it completely goes in. And by the way, can I just say that this is actually the same as saying the fraction 1 over 8. Okay, that was, That's what I was thinking about earlier. I need to put another place value, so it becomes 40. Oh, yeah, and A goes into 40 five times. So that's a tough one. I mean, that, that's, that's kind of out of the blue. That, that got me when I, when, I, when I saw that question. So the fraction 1 over 8, if I'm going to convert that to uh, a, deci um, a decimal number, is 0 0.125. When you're saying divide 1 by 8, divide 1 by 8, you're basically saying 1 over 8. Because actually, the, the, the fraction sign is actually divide. How can I prove this? Um, we'll do that another time. <laughs> Thank you for listening.